Shalom, Akin Zukama Kapashim, Jimmy Slana, giving all praise, honor, and glory. See how I, by Shemi, how I shy, by Shemi Chachwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom, that led to the whole for let's preach in the truth and all sincerity. Now, this uh, video, you know, which is something that, um, you know, came across my mind this morning you know, on, the, on, on the way to work, right? And, um, you know, it's something I used to do. You know, back in back in the world when I was at school and that, you know, I used to be, you know, into um, you know, chemistry and materials and you know that kind of stuff, right? And um, you know, I thought about it, you know for some reason it just randomly came came into my mind, you know, and and the meaning of the word strong, right? Because there's different types of strengths, right? But well, not all conducive in in certain. Um, applications right but you know in this truth man we, we were told to be strong okay you should be strong in faith right we have to be, we have to be able to enjoy it scripture speaks about enduring harness it's like yeah as a as a, a good soldier right we're told to enjoy right to be hard to be to be strong right but a lot of guys well let's say a lot some guys in this truth, in and around this truth, you know, whether it be from, you know, GMS or from other guys from different camps, right? They believe themselves to be strong at one point, but what, what, what they turn, what, you know, what they find out, what it turns out to be is that, you know, really they were just, um, they're too rigid, some of them, you know, they're too rigid, uh, brittle. Now, it endures for a while, but when it comes to that, you know, point of uh, cracking, these men break under under the pressure, right? And but in this truth, man, you, you gotta be kind of flexible, man, kind of malleable to a degree, right? And it's the same way when you when you're dealing with the truth, when you're dealing with brothers, when you when you're dealing with all things in life, man, you know, because then you know how to operate in it, you know, with this wisdom that we have. Okay, we have to have a degree of, you know, flexibility, right? Because if you're too rigid in, in, in all things, man, that, you know, you're just overzealous, you're over-righteous and, you know, you're not breaking, man. And, and that's the case for a lot of guys that come in this truth, you know, they come in at a particular way thinking that, you know, this is the way to be, you know, they're trying to, you know, emulate or, you know, in their mind, they want to be this type of guy, and they can never really live up to that that persona that they're trying to, you know, which they envisioned, you know. And you know, really, you gotta be, you know, one, you gotta, you know, you gotta be yourself, man. You can't be somebody else. You can't be trying to copy, you know, another another dude, man. You know, in this truth or whatever, you gotta walk your own uh, walk your own walk, man. And um, you know, you gotta find your balance in this thing. Man. You can't be too stiff, cause. Things that are stiff tend to tend to break. They they hold me brittle. Right, they got no flex in them, right? And you know that's just something you know I, you know we used to get into, you know back in the world and stuff like that, you know these different types of materials and stuff like that, you know. But I got up here as you see the the word strong, right? It says having the power to move heavy weights or perform other physically physically demanding tasks, right? In terms of physical strength, lifting, and you know all that kind of stuff, the gym shit, right? But here, number two, right, which is more on the on the on the point, it says able to withstand force, right? The, the Lord says, or the scriptures say, prepare thyself for temptation, man. You're gonna get put through things in this truth, man. Various different angles, but with friends, uh, you know, family, friends in the world, you know, brothers, you know, some brothers might rub you up the wrong way. As the case has happened many times in this truth, man, and, and people get offended, man. You know, people get offended and uh, they don't act right. Okay, they get emotional, they don't act right. Okay, and and it, <laughs> and it ends up being something that really destroys them. You know, you you know, you you're looking at brothers. You know, and, and you know, think the things that they, well, what you perceive they they're doing wrong, but you know, you don't check yourself, and it only gets you destroyed, man, because you ain't acting right as a brother. You know, we're not meant to be lowering. You know, if, if a brother does transgress against you, you're not meant to be lowering yourself to to that brother and and 
and and play tit for tat shit. You know, you know, we don't render evil for evil like the scriptures say. Hey, we ain't, we ain't meant to be doing that. But a lot of guys have, have gone out that way. You know, because they couldn't handle, they couldn't control their emotions, man, and just humble themselves. You know, and move on. You know, or or sort it out, man. So man, you know, have have, have words, right? And come come to an understanding. You know, put it out in the air. You know, rather than this, this pent up, you know, pent up estrogen levels is going through the roof. <laughs> you know, and you know they're not snapping. Okay, that strength is gone. Right, it broke. Right, and that's not the type of strength that we're to display that brittleness. And it's hard. It's hard on the outside. Yeah, yeah. You look the part. Yeah, ooh, ooh, yeah. Never been a weak Jew. You know, <laughs> you know, you know all those gimmicks and shit. Right, it, they. You know, you look the part. You know. Or whatever, but you ain't got no longevity. You ain't got no, cause you wasn't flexible. Okay, a certain amount of pressure is gonna break it. Okay, quicker than you know the pressure applied to someone that's more malleable. You know, but it's just able to withstand force, pressure, or wear pressure. We're under pressure, man. That's probably under pressure, man. All right. And we have to be able to withstand that, man. The Esau's coming down like a ton of bricks, as they say. You know? Coming with great wrath because you know you have but a short time. Revelation 12 and 12, okay? We are we are going to face things, man. We've been facing things, but we're going to face things, man, we, we've never experienced before. Okay, the pressure is going to be on. But can you withstand it, man? Can you, can you abide in the day of the Lord? You know, if you're the elect, yeah, you will. Okay? I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be pleasant, but you will. The most I will make make a way for you to, to, you know, to get through it, right? Um, no temptation. Where you at? First Corinthians chapter ten verse thirteen it says, "There have no temptation taken you, but such as common to man." But God is, is faithful, Yahweh is faithful, right? He will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able that you are able, that you're able to deal with, right? But with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Alright? That you may be able to bear it. It's like bearing a load. You, you can you can hold it. You know? So if you're of the elect, you're gonna be equipped, man. The Lord's gonna equip you with the necessary things for you to be able to deal with it. Right, we're not gonna be the elect, the elect are not made brittle. Okay, though it's hard, though it's you know, supposedly strong to a degree, right? We need need that more, you know, we need to be uh less rigid, okay, in this truth, man, because like I said, you're gonna end up finding destroying yourself, man. That's why, you know, we teach about um rehearsing the righteous acts, right? But before I get before I get there, right, let me, let me grab this proverbs, right, 24 and 10. It says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small, right? And this is what he's speaking about your faith, right? Because the day of adversity is coming. And what's really going to deliver us, man, is, is our faith. Okay, I believe in Yahweh Shimi, I was shy, and also the works that we've done, you know, in that faith. Okay? But if you get to, you know, because there's people falling out even to, at this moment in time. And we're, we're getting closer and closer to the day of the Lord, man. And things are, the prophecies are popping right now. And you've still got people falling out, man, because they, they, well, they're losing something, man. They're losing something, okay? And that's that faith. The Lord is taking it away from them, okay? They appeared strong one time, at one point in time, you know, and they, they were, you know, doing all the talk, right? All that hard shit, right? But eventually, they broke. For one reason or another, whatever the reason may be, all right? And usually, it's something emotional, <laughs> you know what I mean? Usually it's something emotion, emotional that they can't handle because they were, they were being too rigid, right? They were being too rigid, all right? It's, um, it's uh, Sirach, no, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 16. It says, be not righteous over much. You, you know, you've got some guys that are, they're trying to be over righteous, man. You know, not understanding that, you know, we're not, we're not perfect, okay? And, and you know, it's, imp it's impossible for us, for us to get it all right, 
Okay, there, there is balance in this thing. Okay, like, are you going to enact all, all the laws that, that are contained in the scriptures? No, you ain't. So how are you, you going to how you going to be able to keep them all? You know, laws around homosexuality and stuff. Like, how how are you going to you can't do that, right? There's certain things that you just can't do as a man in this world right now, right? We have to ex accept the fact that you know it's not ideal, but it, it is what it is. And they were in captivity, and you know we're not going to be perfect. We're not going to be the perfect versions of, of you know of ourselves, so to speak, right? Not until the Lord comes. Okay, and establishes the kingdom, and then we can be perfect. That's what the whole point is. The Lord's gonna come and make us perfect, you know. But what the Lord, or you know, what's being demonstrated now, is our faith, our belief in these things. So, you know, we rehearse the righteous acts. Now, some for some people that's not good enough. <laughs> you know, some some man want you to keep the law one hundred percent. Some man claim to keep the law one hundred percent. You know, so you know they'll they'll point out brothers. Or in among, maybe maybe among the congregation and and and, and you know time to go off and this that the third or whatever but them themselves are not keeping the law hundred percent man so they have no right to you know overpay stuff you know get on them you know because they're transgressing too <clears throat> all right but anyway it says be not righteous over much neither make thyself over wise why shouldest thou destroy thyself you know. Because being rigid, being too rigid in this truth will do that. You know, you're not able to flow with the spirit. Okay, you're not able to flow. <laughs> and our brother, you know, brother's out there. You know, brother Cowboy he uses the quotation. I think it was a Bruce Lee quotation about flowing like water. You know, you know, you got to flow. You got to flow in this truth, man. And um, you know, you got to roll with the punches, so to speak, right? You, you're not, you know. Not everything is as, as you as you think it ought to be, right? It says, um, be not over wicked, sorry, be not over much wicked, right? Neither be thou foolish, right? Because like I said, we're not perfect. We're gonna still do things that you know that are you know that are transgress that, that we transgressing, right? You know, like the Sabbath and stuff like that. You want to be able to hold the Sabbath, you know, properly, um, you know. But we're aware of it, and and this is where you know the whole point of you know repenting and being you know uh, what's the word remorseful you know comes into it. You pray to Heavenly Father to forgive us of our transgressions, man, because on a daily like there's things we can't do, you know. This is um this has been not over over much wicked. Right, so we don't have license to do what the hell we want to do. Obviously, you know we're meant to be keeping the laws to at the best of our abilities, man. That's something that we that we push, right? Keeping the laws the best that you can. Okay, not to discard them, not. Nah. That's that's not allowed. You know that's not permissible, right? You're not meant to discard the laws. You're meant to keep them to the best that you can, knowing that we can't keep them perfectly right now. Right, so there's some things you're gonna fall in, gonna fall short with, right? It says, uh, neither be thou foolish, why shouldest thou die before thy time? Alright, and just a quick point on that, verse 20 says, For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Okay, we're all sinners, but the thing is that Mosai Mosa has um, covered our sins. Okay, we're under that grace. Right, but we're, we're still trying to do the right thing. Is Romans chapter 10 verse 2 it says for I bear them record that they have a zeal for the most high but not according to knowledge okay some some people are not all the way there in their level of understanding or how to be in this thing like I said there's too many people trying to imitate personas out there and you know trying to look up look a certain way in this truth okay but if you're acting if you're putting that on eventually that's all going to come apart because it's an act it's not you Right, trying to keep up this this tough guy or you know this regiment dude, whatever it is, you know, trying to keep up with these images, is you, you're gonna you know become unraveled, man. You gotta be true and sincere in this thing, man. All right, you gotta be sincere in this thing. Right, 
we all got to be sincere in this thing, man. So, you know, just be you. You know, be you, right? Don't don't try and be somebody else, man. You know, and just understand that, like I said, things are not are always going to go the way you think they should go, man. You know, the spirit is going to have different things go on, right? And sometimes it's a test for you to deal with. Sometimes it's a test for somebody else to deal with. Or maybe both of you, you know? So how you, see how you react to things. You know? Can you humble it down? You know? You know, brothers get done wrong sometimes, man. It happens. You know, disagreements and, and, and whatever, man. But these things that we're not meant to be using as, as ammunition and, and excuses to why we don't want to, you know, participate in this truth no more. You know, or we're not giving our fullest, man, because you're too wrapped up in your emotions, man. You know? They're just excuses, man. You know, getting tempted back into the world because, you know, you something caught your eye or you start reminiscing on this and reminiscing on that. Or the future you could have had and all this BS, man. This place is about to be destroyed, man. You're wasting your damn fucking time thinking about those things. You know? But these are brittle men. These are, you know, hard, maybe. <laughs> A lot of the cases, no. Not so much as acting. But these are brittle people, man, that are ready to break. All right? And we're not trying to be like that. You know, that type of strength. Our, our strength has got to be, like I said, you know, flexible. Okay, we have to roll with shit. Okay, because we're not always going to have it our way, man. We're not going to have it comfortable. A lot of the time, it ain't like that. You know, things are going to happen, man. There's shit you're going to have to go through and deal with. You know, but like I said, some guys, they go through, oh, you know, their wife left them, or the woman left them, or their family member don't want to talk to them. And sometimes that's enough for them. That's the breaking point. They can't deal with it. Even though the scriptures, you know, speak about it. When it comes to actually going through it now, and that's why it's one thing to to know the scriptures in terms of like you've read it, like you know it, that scripture exists. But there's another thing to experience it and to go through things, man. It's a whole different ball game. Then you gotta have the spirit upon you, man, to be able to deal with it. You know. But like I said, the most I haven't haven't given everybody the same level of faith. All right, we can only pray that we have enough to get us through what we need to get through. Right, and like I mentioned, if you're the elect, you're going to have that. The Lord's going to give you that. All right? It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. knowledge. Okay, they don't understand how this thing really, how, how it really works, how it goes, how it ebbs and flows, you know? They don't really understand it. You know, and they're easily offended or, you know, or whatever. You know, irked in the spirit and don't know how to deal with them, you know, how to conduct themselves. Um, this is the Judges 5 and 11, right? Because this is what we teach, man. There's got to be balance, man. There's got to be, you know, you can't be all one way. All right? It's Judges 5 and 11 said, they, are, they that are delivered from the noise of the arches, of arches in, the place, in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Okay, we're rehearsals, man. And you don't get everything right in the rehearsals, man. Okay, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to get it as good as it can be before before the main event for the show, you know. Before I, you know, before go time, you know. And that's what we're doing, All right? That's what we're doing, man. Okay, we're learning how to you know deal with each other properly, you know. Because hey, and they were, when we were all niggas in the world before we came in the street, man, <laughs> you know, we didn't know how to conduct ourselves properly amongst men, you know, amongst. Brothers and you know things like that. You know we we're still learning, man. And the, the younger you are in the street, man, the worse it is. You're still learning. You're, there's more to learn, right? And that's why you know we use we use our, uh, our elders and apostles, beginning of our pastor, as an example of, of how to be. But you don't get there overnight. Okay, you have to you have to experience things. You can't you can't. I, they can share. Elders apostles can share experiences with us, right? But you have to have your own. Right, you you do have to have your own, right, to really appreciate what it is that they're saying, <laughs> you know, because when you go through stuff, man, and you're like, shit, you know, it was possible, you know, I spoke about things like this, but to experience it, man, and and to have your 
faith and your spirit tested, man, is a whole different matter. You know, and I said, the longer you've been in this, the more, the more you've seen, the uh, more you've gone through, the more you understand. Okay, how you, you know how you put these scriptures in, into you know into application. You know how to apply them. Right, things happen, man. Okay, but are you of the you know of a, of a right enough spirit to deal with it? Okay, are you going to apply the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you learned properly, or you know are you are you going to be stiff as a board? <laughs> I said, no, nah, no, nah, that's off, that's off, or, or whatever, whatever the case may be. You know, you know, but um. You know, in your hard-headedness. You know, your one, one track mind, and you know you can't, you can't see beyond, you know what's happening. You know. But anyway. Is Isaiah, yeah, Isaiah sixty-four verse six, it says, "But we are all as an unclean thing, and and all, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags." And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. Okay, our righteousness are, are as filthy rags, man. We're, we're never going to be, you know, like I said, perfect on this side of things, man. It, Lord, when he comes, Yahweh when he comes, is going to make us clean. All right? He's going to purify us, man. Okay, we've not gone through that whole process yet. Okay, we ain't been changed yet, you know? This is, you know, this is the beginning of, of being you know, perfected, but the end, the change is going to come when the Lord comes, all right? Because there's not one person on the planet, man, that can hit the law 100% and, and be perfect, okay? The only one man did that, which is the point, right? Which was Yahweh was shy, okay? The, you know, ain't no one doing that right now. Ain't no one can do that right now. The best we can do is rehearse that, right? We do our best. Romans 7 verse 14 says, uh, and this is what Paul wrote, right? So, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am a car I am carnal soul under sin. Okay, and this is it's like, like this for all of us. Okay, because we're all in the flesh, right? We're all in captivity, right? It says, For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. Okay, because we find ourselves doing some bullshit sometimes, man. And you got to rebuke yourself. <laughs> You know, it is what it is, man. You know, rebuke yourself, repent, pray, pray to the Heavenly Father, you know, when you, when you catch yourself doing some stupid shit. All right? It says, um, if then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the Lord that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Okay, because we're in this flesh, right? It says, for I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would, I would do, it's like yeah, For the good that I, for the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that I would not, it is no more I that do it, but the sin that dwelleth in me. I find in the Lord that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the Lord, the Most High. After the inward man, but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing in captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am, right? And when you can accept that and understand that we're just wretched, man, we are just through in it, right? And we need salvation. We understand that, then you start being a bit more merciful, man, a bit more understanding in certain situations. Right, you judge a bit more wisely, you know, because they say with the whole you know problems between brothers thing, man, some men are too hasty to you know too hasty to do something or say something or you know rebuke or or whatever the case may be. When we can't hold ourselves to the same standard, we all mess up. You know, there has to be a level of understanding that comes comes with that. You know. Obviously, if the guy has been a straight demon, that's a whole different ball game, man. But we're just talking about transgressions against brothers and stuff like that, man. Things that can be reconciled, you know. But but you have to be men about it, you know what I mean? 
and 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 have understanding about it. You know, we're not perfect. We fuck up. In the same way, you know, we want we're seeking for the mercy of the heavenly Father and His Son. You know, we have to have mercy among each other, man. You know, so don't fly off the handle and you know go into full enemy mode. <laughs> you know. Because her brother did something and he might not even realise what he'd done, you know, or whatever. You know, shit happens, man. Okay, like I said, sometimes the Lord just testing you, man. You know? It could be a test for both of you, you know, whatever the case may be. But we have to, you know, be aware of these types of things. You know? Yeah, but he did this. Well, you know, yeah, maybe he did do that. But... Again, you know, maybe Bro was ignorant to it, or maybe, you know, that uh, he he repents and that you got you got to forgive him, man, you know, because we fuck up, you know. And like I said, if he's like way way off the chart doing some madness, then yeah, you know, you know, we all know what's gonna happen to that dude, but you know, we have to be, you know, we just have to be a bit more. Uh, spiritual by it Alright Because I say People use You know Use this excuse Too many Too many too often You hear it too often You know and, and that's why guys Fall out and stuff like that man It's a second of chapter 16, verse 76. It says, uh, And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, uh, Lord Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down, and not, let not your iniquities lift themselves up. All right, because like I said, we've got tabs. Uh, you know, sometimes you feel like you don't deserve shit. You know what I mean? You don't deserve to get saved, man, because you're, you're, you're wicked, wretched, you know? Sometimes you feel like that, man. You know, even though we've got this 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 work, this task to do, sometimes you feel like you're not even worthy of the task. But you know, you're here, you're doing it, right? Continue on doing it. Don't don't let things sway you, you know. And they cause that the most I can forgive that. You can. Alright? Even if you don't deserve it. Even if we don't deserve it, the Lord can forgive that, and you know we know He will forgive those men of His elect. You know, so hey, keep doing what you're doing. All right. Like I say, if you're too stiff, man, you might feel like, no, nah, fuck it, man, I can't, I can't be saved. Well, you, you, well, if that's how you feel, then maybe not. But like, you, you know, if you get put, that spirit is put on you, man, and and you dip out because you don't feel like. You can make it. Well, guess what? You don't have enough faith. You know? And like I say, we've all got things, all got a wicked tab, man, that we've done in our lifetimes, in multiple lifetimes. Okay, that you're not even aware of. That really should be held against us, man. So, you know, because you fucked up don't mean it's the end for you, per se. Okay, but if you if you take if you take yourself out of the running now, which is not really yourself taking you out, but you know you you know you don't you say oh I don't I'm not, I'm not, I can't do this no more or whatever, then yeah of course you're gonna be destroyed. <laughs> that's, you know that's 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 stupidity. There's no chance out there. If you go back to the world, there's no chance out there, man. I don't know you know that's madness, you know. But if you continue and repent, you know, just maybe the Lord will have mercy on those things. You know, because that because we're all in that same boat in that respect, man. Like I said, right? The Lord's gonna forgive his elect and his elect have all got shit on their tabs, man, that they need to be forgiven for. So we're in, we're in you know, we're all the same in that respect. There's no difference between us. You know? And that's the faith, that's the belief that you can be delivered, that the Lord can have mercy upon you, man. That's faith. Right? Because like I said, rightly, you know, we'd all be destroyed, right? But we know that the Most High is going to forgive certain mans, right? So you might as well continue doing what you're doing and pray for the pray for that mercy, man. Right? Because that's what we, that's what that's what the rest of us are doing. 
All right. So a few different, few few more points, right, and then we'll close up. This is from uh, Ecclesiastes chapter seven. Oh, yeah, we're from it earlier. Okay, verse nine, right? It says, um, "Be not hasty in in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools." Right, and just again on on, on, on brothers that get too hot headed too quickly, you know, when concerning other brothers and things like that, you know, even even in the world, man, because you know he leads into 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 trouble, man. You know, getting too hot, right? And losing your cool. All right. Sometimes you need to take a breath, take a breath, take a breather, and and I'll you know, step back and, and and try to look at it. You know, a bit different, a bit more spiritual. You know. And it's First Peter shut the fire, man. And this is obviously getting into um. You know, dealing with the elders, dealing with your elders, you know, you know your camp leaders, and and so on, so on and so forth. Because there is rank, there is hierarchy, order uh, in this thing. When you when you're a young cat in the truth, you're a young cat in the truth, isn't it? And there's men that are over you, that are experienced way more than you, that understand things more than you. All right? Yeah, you might be shit hot with scriptures. You know, but, but you know, guys like that sometimes they they get too puffed up because they think they're shit hot with the scriptures, man. You know, and they think they're the don, <laughs> right? But you know, the experience goes a long, long way, man. And there's been a lot of guys that have been like that, you know, with the, with the scriptures, precepts, and all that kind of stuff. But you know, the flame fizzled out. You know, but there is. You have to respect the elders, respect your camp leaders and, you know, men that are over you. And, you know, sometimes relationships, with, you know, among, amongst each other don't go all that well sometimes. But it is what it is. You still have to respect the order, you know, and you have to you have to conduct yourself the right way. Right. Even, even if you think the other person is not conducting themselves in the right way, you have to conduct yourself in the right way. Right. So that means you show respect. Okay, you show humility, you know. Because we're all meant to show humility. No matter what position we are, we always show are meant to have humility within us, man. Because we're always we're always serving someone greater than us. Only the Heavenly Father, you know. We're all here serving. You know, so some men are just further than the than the than the chain than others, you know. But it is what it is. Let me read this and then we'll close up, right? It says, uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5 says, uh, Likewise, ye younger, right? Submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another. And I believe, um, was it Apostle Rakar and um, probably uh, Yatazak, I believe his name is right, did a video recently on, um, you know, brotherhood, you know, and, um, you know how they, you know how they're treating one another, and I, and I guess you know they maybe got a uh, an issue with, with brother or two, um, or more. Who knows? Um, you know, amongst the amongst the groups, right? On how you know how you would treat one another, man. Especially guys that um, you know are, are newly come in or whatever, and because um, they were saying you know the new guys have you know become complacent, man, because they got it easier. Then, you know, other brothers that come in early, you know, <laughs> you know, and, you know, they really got, you know, they don't really understand or how they should be acting, you know, in this brotherhood, man, because we give ourselves for each other, man, you know, and no, no thing should be too big of a ass per se, you know, okay, we should be always willing to help if we can, you know, and, you know, Show show your respect to to the men that you know, obviously that are been out here longer than yourself. All right, so that that's always a thing that you know that's that's that humility, that's that respect that you know you kind of meant to be de demonstrating. All right, 
But anyway, it says, Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, right? Like I mentioned, we're all serving one another, right? And be clothed with humility, right? And humility is very important in this in this truth. Okay, being humble is very important in this truth, man. Because the moment you forget to be humble, man, you become proud. Right? And that proud that pride leads to dangerous paths. Okay, pride was not made for man. Alright? It just leads to bad things, man. Okay, you, you, in, in, we've got plenty of examples, man. We've got plenty of examples of guys that came in for that because they thought they knew better. They thought they were, you know, they thought they were the guy. You know? And they got no respect. And they couldn't, and they weren't able to humble themselves. Because their pride was was too great, you know. Because they felt, I don't know, wronged or or they disagreed about something, because they feel that they knew better or you know whatever the case may be, you know. But then, like I said, that pride seeps in and pride's a killer, right? Pride is a killer. All right. This is um. For God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Right? So I say, you know, we you know we always need to remember to be humble and and um you know understand that again, not everything's gonna go your way, man. Sometimes you're wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes, you know, we're all wrong. You know? Sometimes we're the problem, <laughs> you know. It is what it is. Sometimes you're not, you know. And but sometimes, uh, 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 even in that moment, sometimes you just gotta chill. Okay, let the spirit deal with it, man. You know, but never forget about how you're supposed to be conducting yourself. Okay, that's something we all need to remember: how we conduct ourselves in this thing, how we're meant to be. You know, and do the best that we can. All right. Um, I'll read this next verse. It's humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that He may exalt you in due time, man. So what? So what if we're a base? You know. So what if we get humiliated? Because you know, being humble is you know to be, basically be humiliated, right? So what if we get cursed out? You know, if you repent. Or even if it was wrong and you got you got cursed out, just just eat it, man. You know, just eat it. Cause at the end of the day, the most high is the one that, that knows, right? <laughs> that knows for sure. And the most high will, will, will exalt you in due time, man. We shouldn't we shouldn't be too proud to be humbled or feel humbled, you know. Okay, we shouldn't be too proud to to be humbled, to feel humble. All right. So um, so yeah, man. Like I said, you know, it went off on the back of uh, this whole idea of being strong in this truth, man. And you know, we don't, you know, we don't want to be rigid and 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 break under the pressure. As uh, something else here. Yeah. All right. It says strong, tough, and hard don't mean the same thing. And I uh, just know uh, I had some um. What do they call it? Explanations or whatever. Right? Or these different words. Right? So, just prick, or stiff, resist defamation. Tough, resist failure. Even after the form is strong, resist both defamation and failure. Because only we don't want to fail. Okay, we might be pulled left and right and go through all kinds of mad shit. You know, the chastising of the Lord and you know, all these things that come upon you, man. Because Satan's... Man, Satan's gonna get active, real, real active, man. Like he's gonna get extra active <laughs> in in the, in the times coming, man. So he's gonna be doing all, doing the most, right? But um, we have to be able to resist that. Okay, we resist it and resist to the point where we don't fail. We don't fail in the mission or the task that we've been handed. You know, it's not the case for all these different, you know, these different terms here, right? Because you get down to to ductile, the forms before it breaks. You know, we don't want to be no, we don't want to be no do no breaking, right? Brittle breaks before it deforms. 
hard, resists dents, scratches, and other permanent changes under compressive force. But anything that's brittle, because if it's things that are hard, you know, and, and are, are only hard, tend to be brittle because they've got no flex in them. Okay, there's, there's not a, there's not a softness to it, so to speak, right? And that's what something strong is. Strong, something strong has, you know, wiggle space, for lack of a better term. You know what I mean? You know, so they can, you know, cope with that, right? They can go further before, you know, that that whole uh, breaking occurs, right? But something brittle is gonna, you know, break re relatively quicker, right? Because it hasn't got that space, okay, to 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 flex. But anyway, you know, I'm gonna wrap it up for this video, man. I hope this is edifying, you know, Lord willing. And um, I'll catch you, brothers and sisters, on the next video, man. So till then, I say shalom.